Hello everyone! Today we are doing an empties video because you guys requested it. I honestly felt like no one cared about these videos and actually probably still no one will care. If you care, maybe you're here. Who am I? Dr. Seuss. I did a couple of empties little mini things on TikTok, right? And I was like, okay, I'll just keep some random empties so I can do one every now and again. So half of my empties I threw away and then half of them I kind of kept because I wasn't planning on doing like a proper big video about it. I was just keeping a few here and there. So what I'm about to show you today are some empties. They're not all of my empties but there's still a lot to show you. If you do enjoy this video let me know and I'll start committing to the cause again and I will keep everything, all of my rubbish. I'm always using up stuff so it's cool to share with you what I've used and talk about if I loved it, if I didn't love it, if I would repurchase it etc etc. And I also get a lot of questions about my hair care, about my skin care so some of these skincare things are kind of things that have stuck around you know and I've really gone through so obviously I I like them for the most part anyway. Let's get into it. There's a few things. We'll start with hair care because I've, you know, I dyed my hair blonder and I just get this question constantly at the moment. Here's a couple of things. So this is the shampoo and conditioner I've currently been using. I've gone through these two big ones. I've repurchased them. And I think actually I've gone through two more of these. I've been using them for a long time. I bought mine off once it actually because I was, yeah, I needed a new shampoo. I was using another one, but it was just too heavy for my hair. This one's not so heavy and it's for blondes, but it's not purple or anything. It's just a normal shampoo and conditioner and it's just like brightening. I don't know. I don't really notice it doing anything like that, but my hair is nice and shiny. Everyone, like, you know, when I go get my hair done at the hairdresser, they say my hair is really healthy and stuff. I don't know. I just like how it feels. It leaves my hair feeling nice and clean. It's not irritating to my scalp and things like that. The conditioner seems to do a pretty good job. I don't know. I just kind of use whatever shampoos and conditioners. All I can tell you is when I don't like one. So these ones did not, you know, make my hair go oily or anything like that real quick. So I like them and I have continued to repurchase. And I really like Joico as a brand. I feel like I've used them for years. And I like buying huge ones like this because... I don't know, I just feel like I go through shampoo and conditioner really quick because my hair is so long. I will list everything I'm talking about down in the down bar with shopping links in case you want to go check it out further because some of these I'll like skip past quicker. Here's another hair one, Olaplex number six. I went through some other Olaplex stuff but threw it away unfortunately. This one I've still got like enough for like a little bit more. You can use this in dry hair or in damp hair. It's a concentrated leave-in smoothing cream. Excellent for all hair types including colored and chemically treated hair. It strengthens, hydrates, moisturizes, speeds up your blow dry time while you blow dry and eliminates frizz and flyaways for up to 72 hours. I bought mine from Hair Plus and yeah, it's really good stuff. I have got the K18 now, I think it's called. I'm giving that a go next. Rub it between my hands and we'll pop some in my hair right now. Cause yeah, there's probably like one more use in here, but I thought it was close enough to empty to show you guys. Just give my hair a little bit extra moisture since I did just bleach it a bit more and toned it and everything. And it does work to like kind of smooth down the flyways, doesn't it? Doesn't leave my hair feeling like greasy or you know, heavy or anything. It feels good. I hate when you like put in like a hair cream, like leave-in conditioner or something. Oh, it feels so soft. And like your hair feels like oily and yucky afterwards. Oh, there's nothing worse. Especially when you've just washed your hair and you've like ruined it already. I am a big fan of this. I actually love as well, I've got it here somewhere, um, the Olaplex hair oil. It's like yellow. I don't know, it's like buried under a massive makeup right now because I've been filming. I really like the oil too, but you just need to use such a small amount because you can get greasy. By the way, I just did my makeup and a first impression. I'll link the video down below. It's like a full face of first impression and it was like a bit of a disaster. I mean, it was good, but not. I don't know. Go check it out. I do like this and I would repurchase it. Definitely. But I'm just trying something else now. So yeah, I'll have a break from it for a little bit and see if I miss it. Here's another hair one. Hamish has made me stop using Batiste and this. Well, I don't know if this is the same as the Batiste. You know how Batiste had that big like lawsuit or something against them? Something to do with like cancer causing chemicals and all of this stuff. It was like, I don't know, all over TikTok and stuff recently. And so Hamish has like forced me to stop using dry shampoo and cans. He's like, nope, no more. So, you know, I've always stood by these. I love them so much. They're so good, <laughs> but I'm not allowed to use them anymore. So I've got the, um, is it Bumble and Bumble like powder one? I haven't used it yet though. It's like a volumizer dry shampoo situation, like a dust. So I'll try that, but I don't know. I don't know the stitch with it. I don't know the ins and outs. If any of you guys know, please comment below. Let me know. I don't understand it. I should look it up. We're taking a break from aerosol dry shampoo for a while. Now for the hairs on our eyeballs, aka eyelashes. <laughs> XOPD Lash Enhancing Serum. I've gone through like 
two, three, four, five, I don't know, a lot of these. No, probably like three or four. It's the XO Beauty Lash Enhancing Serum. I swear by this. We have so many reviews on our website now. Customers, like real customers, you guys. Um, so if you want to go read those reviews, you can go check them out. Lots of five star ones, four star ones, I think. And people just giving their opinions. But basically, it's amazing. Some people are comparing it to like other popular brands too. <laughs> makes me very proud. I love this stuff so much. It's made my lashes so much nicer. This is run out and so I've been really slack in applying because usually I like to have <laughs> this is so extra. I usually like to have like one in my makeup room, one in my bathroom, one in my office so like I remember to put it on at some point throughout each day but at the moment I think I've got one in my bathroom and like that's it so I haven't been super on top of putting it on all the time but I still put it on most days so I've still got good results but if I put it on every day it's like way more impact, you know? I still think my lashes look amazing. You can't tell right now I've got false ones on. But yeah, like ever since this product, I've worn false lashes so much less because I actually just genuinely love just how mascara looks by itself. Speaking of lashes, <laughs> Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. This is the brown. I think I've shown this in another empties video. I love the color of this and I love the formula of this, but it just... I go through it so quick for some reason it dries out so quick so is it worth the money probably not really but it is amazing i mean if you're bougie and you've got budget then feel free but i probably won't purchase this anymore i've purchased it a couple of times because i did love it but i've found like you know a ColourPop one for example which is brown which i love and i just can't justify the price tag body oil i have used up other body products too but unfortunately throwing them out but I kept this one so I've been using this in the shower I watched Chloe Morello do like a reel or Instagram story about how she puts on her oils in the shower because obviously oil repels water right so you can like kind of put it on in the shower I don't like stand under the stream of water but I'll stand off to the side because I get cold once I'm out of the shower I want to like do my skincare as fast as possible and get in bed you know well you know during winter anyway it's starting to warm up now so I've got a bit more patience now but you know when it's cold in the bathroom and stuff and you just want to get out of there so that was a really good hack so I was using this in the shower I do have a scrubby brush in my shower we've got like very textured tiles so it's not very slippery but I've got a brush in every now and then I just give the ground like I take some body wash and give the ground a really good scrub with the scrubby cleaning brush just because obviously this is oil and if you're using the shower please be very careful because it's slippery like in my old shower it was like a plastic bottom and I feel like that would be a recipe for disaster so please use your smarts when you're doing that but yeah it worked for me and this is like just a really cheap oil because I just wanted to try it out I can't even remember I think I bought it online like from farmers is that where I got it I think so but I'm pretty sure you can get this um brand from like supermarkets and things like that too farmers cocoa butter formula and I just kind of looked at the ingredients and tried to like like find some that had some like cool oils that I knew I liked in them without spending loads of money and it did the job and you know what it made my skin glow and feel so much more like soft and hydrated because otherwise I'm really lazy with moisturizing my body so I keep going like this but I hate the feeling of hoodies when they ride up to my neck my skin felt so much better so I do think this is good and the trick with oils like this is apply them when your skin is like moist because it'll trap the moisture in it's like a face oil you know you like kind of put it on last to trap everything in so I either use this yet yeah, in the shower trap like that moisture into my skin or sometimes if I'm feeling patient with life I will pop on body moisturizer and then pop on this on top of the moisturizer or mix it together and apply it and it just gives like a little bit extra hydration I feel like and a nice glow to my skin so yeah I will repurchase this I think unless I can find another like affordable oil that has nicer ingredients I don't know I'll have a look into it let me know if you guys have any recommendations probably my favorite like body oil that I've ever used was my Dermalogica one I love that the dry oil I think it was called but I didn't know how that would go in the shower lenses I've got a few. Every day I get questions about my skincare and I always tell people it's like a mumbo mumble jumble. Is that a saying? Mumble jumble. You know, it's just all sorts because I'm always trying out so many things. I've got like things that I continuously reuse and repurchase and will use most days. But even then, like in between, I'll be like trying out other things and trying out other serums and like it's always switching and changing. I kind of just go by like ingredients and like what type of products they are. So like integrating hyaluronic acids into my routine or integrating retinol or integrating niacinamide products. You know what I mean? I look at ingredients rather than just like look at a product. My cleansers though, 
kind of stay the same most of the time. This is the one that's been in my shower. So whenever I'm washing my face in the shower, this is what I use. It's the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel, already repurchased. Got it in my shower right now. And this lasted me for like the better part of this year, I'd like to say. I reckon I've been using this for like, probably like six to eight months, like a long time. You don't need much at all. And I'd usually use it twice as well. Like I do one little pump, wash, do it a second time. It's like a gentle kind of foaming. Oh my God, it literally says that. And say that on purpose, it says gentle foaming cleanser. I was going to say, it's like a very gentle kind of foaming cleanser. Like it's not like real foamy and stripping feeling. It leaves your skin still moisturized feeling. <laughs> Literally, it says it right there. It is gentle. It leaves my skin feeling smooth, clean, fresh. Makeup's gone, sunscreen is gone. I really like it. Like I just feel like it does a really good job and it's a really basic, simple kind of formula. Like it just works, it's nice. So love it. It is expensive, but it's one of those things like Dermalogica, I just feel like they do such a good job with so many different items of skincare. And I believe like you can find really good cheap cleansers because hello, you're just like putting it on and rinsing it off, right? But I just really love the way this one makes my skin feel. To be honest, like it does a really good job to remove everything. I don't break out, like it doesn't leave like debris, whatever. I mean, I've probably like talked about that before in the past too. Also, this one here, Wishful. Get Clean. This has got 2% PHA and CMOS. Um, Hamish actually stole my full size. That was also used up and thrown away. Um, we had the full size, then he half used this too. So this is empty, <laughs> but it's fine. So Hamish loves this. I also love it. I find this comparable to the Ola Henriksen one, like in the texture and like the feeling, um, which I also love that one. We love it. Is it better than Dermalogica? I don't know. This one I had at my sink, because <laughs> I had a different one at my sink and a different one in the shower. Um, I loved it. I, I don't know. I really, really, really liked this too. And I would 100% use it again, purchase it again, but I just don't need to at the moment because I've got the other one. So using that for now. And I really love the little mini travel size too. So handy. This is by Crave Beauty. It's the Makeup Rewind, <laughs> like wind, transforming jelly oil cleanser. So this is like a first step in your cleansing routine, like an oil-based melt your makeup off cleanser. I really liked it, but it wasn't necessarily something that like stood out among the crowd. It was good. It's got upcycled grapeseed oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. It's a post-consumer recycled plastic tube. They've got cool values. The packaging's really cool. Um, I liked it. It's just like a makeup removing or like sunscreen oily cleanser. I can't even show you, I don't think. Oh, I've got a little bit left. Just like a oil oil cleanser. I don't know, like, it's, I feel like lots of these are much and much in the same. So just go for a brand that like values you align with and the ingredients you like, you know, so on and so forth. It was a good one. I had another body product. This one here, I've raved about this before in the past, the Bang & Bosch. This is the firming lotion. I love the firming one. It's the other one firming too. There's one that's like shimmery. This is the non-shimmery one. It's firm and hydrate. Honestly, dude, smell. I would buy this again just for the smell. I've got a little bit left. Oh, it's like a tropical holiday. It's like, I don't really know, like pineapple, mango, holy crap. I love the packaging too for this brand. I love, I've said this recently in a video. I love packaging that's like this metal type of tube and you can like, I don't know, roll it up. Like, I just think aesthetically it's like so cool. I love it. It reminds me of like my granddad's shaving cream when I was a little girl. Like, it's like a nostalgic type of packaging and I just think it looks really cool and it like feels cool. Anyways. This moisturizer is so nice. I loved it. And I actually used this up in the manner that I talked about before with the oil. I used it before the oil, but it's lovely on its own. I've talked about this for a few years, I believe. I've actually got it back up in my drawer already. So I will be cracking into this. I'm just using it as a hand cream. I'll be cracking into this this summer. It just smells like summer. If you're big into smells and you like to smell fruity fresh, then definitely give it a go. It smells so good. Like a summer tropical smoothie. Delish. Oh my gosh, I've got a whole lot of serums here. Let's talk about the needless to say one first. Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. You know what? They've sent me a few in like the last year. I'm so thankful because it is a little bit pricey. I still buy it. I've bought so many. <laughs> I've bought some in my drawer and then I got sent more. And I was like, well, looks like I've got a big backup stash, which is good because I go through this stuff like water. It is so good. It's a lactic acid and licorice root treatment. And this is so nice. The texture of it, I think one of these had like a little, not that one. <laughs> There's like literally like probably one use in here. So this is how it looks. And I don't know if you can see as I like blend it, like 
it's like a serum it's very lightweight and it just blends out it still feels like hydrating on your skin so I, I put this on like my bare skin at night like every couple of nights I used to use it every day but now I'm kind of like trying other stuff too what I notice for me is I wake up in the morning my skin is like plump glowing gorgeous even I feel like it evens out my skin tone so well they've got so many kits for Christmas at the moment and things like that with this in it like the smaller size so it's a good way to try it to see if you like it for me this is one of those things I can use for like one week and notice a difference like I don't even have to use it for like a whole bottle like I'd notice the results so quick it says on here deeply exfoliates the dull surface of your skin for clarity radiance and younger looking skin visibly brightens the appearance of dark spots and discoloration and instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes like honestly I feel like it's legit I love this stuff I've raved about it for so long it's so good like if you've got a bit of a budget for some skincare you know you want to try something with really good ingredients that really does work I feel like it's so good go read some other reviews though see what other people have to say um, because it is a pricey product and my I mean I say it's pricey but there's other freaking beauty influencers out here recommending like four hundred dollar serums at the moment blows my mind I mm, I'm not spending that it's expensive but it's not that expensive okay hello <laughs> for me it's worth the money and lots of things I will say it's not but this is worth the money and it lasts a decent amount of time guys like I say I go through it like water but it's still you know I'm being dramatic it does last a decent amount of time you know you only need a little bit and it says here for sensitive skin you can use it as a mask so you can apply it and then leave it on 50 minutes and then remove it. So if you want those benefits but you find stuff too powerful for your skin and it, yeah, you've got sensitive skin, you can try using it like that. For me, I leave it on all night. Baby, I'm not wasting it. It's so good. I love this. It's just one of my holy grails. All right, also I used up another one of my Clearing Anti-Breakout Serums by Tribe. Tribe's so good. So I use this throughout my pregnancy and breastfeeding journey because it's safe for, yeah, pregnancy. They don't use any of those harsh chemicals and things. I'm talking about things like retinols and like um, acids and things that are too harsh for while you're pregnant, etc. They use ingredients that are safe for pregnancy. I'm not saying you know what I mean. Natural, vegan, cruelty free, Australian made, pregnancy safe. So this one has aloe leaf juice, licorice root extracts, it's got white willow bark, oatmeal, pineapple. They've got lots of like natural kind of like gentle exfoliating products and I find it works. Like when I just have little breakouts, I don't break out heavily, you guys know that. But every now and then when I just get some like you know clogged pores and things usually I get it when I don't remove like sunscreen and makeup properly if I get real lazy which happened a lot not so much now I'm pretty good but you know in like the first year of Porter's life I was like so tired and I, I'd like barely do a good job like I'd literally like do the most crap attempt at removing my makeup at night and then of course I'd wake up and have like clogged pores and things and that's kind of when I use this like when I had that situation I feel like it definitely helped and I loved it when I was, like I said, pregnant, breastfeeding, all of that. Just the whole range, not just this. There's like a redness serum, which I really love. I still have it and I'm still using it. Yeah, moisturize it. Like they've got all sorts and I love this brand and I love the packaging. So if you're pregnant or trying or you're breastfeeding, maybe you could look into this brand. Or if you have sensitive skin too, um, because yeah, there's nothing too harsh. Another one for pregnancy. Oh, I mentioned this in another video, I think my haul. My PR haul recently. Um, the Bare Minerals plant based retinol. So it's the Ageless. I don't know if you can get this exact one. I bought another one, but it was a little bit different. I don't think I've started trying it yet, so I don't know if it's the same. Anyway, this is the Tempted Phyto Retinol Night Concentrate. Reminds me of like this vibe, similar. Um, but once again, safe for pregnancy because it was like not really retinol clean without compromising performance i'll link it below so you can read up more about it but i found like it was powerful but it still didn't have those real active ingredients in it pretty cool stuff so yeah and the last one here we have fresh fresh i love this packaging isn't it gorgeous um this is the tea elixir skin resilience activating serum now let me actually just look up what this is supposed to do let's say without reading anything like i've used this whole thing right or oh, there's like a drop at the bottom <laughs> but for me i felt like it was real good when um i just wanted something real hydrating gentle kind of like that barrier building type of product like where if my skin was a bit irritated or like i'd been in the sun for a bit too long it was just really nice and nourishing and gentle and it just made my skin feel really nice and i'd follow up with a nice moisturizer wake up in the morning it just felt fresh plump you know but let me just look it up because like it doesn't say it like what it's for on the bottle and it's been that long since i started using this i've had this empty in my drawer for like three or four months I think. Fresh tea elixir. Why is my internet so slow? Oh it's pricey. I got this in PR. It's 80 dollars. 
Ooh. but it lasted for ages. It was one of those like real fluidy, liquidy products. And yeah, it lasted a long time. It really spreads out. So it says here, it's good for reducing the look of lines and wrinkles. Like I say, I think I felt quite plump, you know, when I used it. Oh, there we go. 58% saw a visible bounce, a reduction in visible pores, and smoother texture and a visible glow. Resilient skin has the ability to bounce back from life stresses that lead to signs of aging. Powered by exclusive APT technology, Tealexosome strengthens the skin barrier, visibly boosting resilience. Literally, like, I feel like the fact that I could tell you kind of what it did without it saying it on the bottle. It's like confirmed here, right? And those are the results that I did get. So I think it definitely works. Yeah, it's a really lovely product. It's actually rated, whoa, is that five stars? Almost, it's like rated like 4.8 on their website with almost 2000 reviews. So I feel like it is a good product. I just threw out the <laughs> packaging um, of the actual like, my hair is falling out. The packaging of the actual eye cream the other day. Um, Buff store the box. Actually, this is probably the new box because I just opened a new one. But anyway, I went through one of these retinal eye balms. I love this. This is Camp Lane Skincare and it's like a balm. I've shown it on my Instagram and it's like, yeah, like a solid balm. So you just wipe it on where you want it. And because it's got the 0.5% retinol, I use it like wherever I want to put retinol. So like crow's feet, lines on my forehead, even though I get Botox, I still put it there double double safe. I put it like around my mouth like you know where I've got any like movement to my face I pop it. If I've got scarring I've got this like scar right here from if you watch my vlogs you know. I put it like where I've got breakouts, breakout scars, dark spots, freckles. I put it anywhere and I love it. It's reduced like my under eye wrinkles a lot because it's so hydrating plus it's retinol. So, I don't know, a combo of both like it's done such a good job. I use it most days. I don't even use it every day. I use it probably like four or five times a week. And I just put this on like before other stuff. So I'll wash my face and then I put the balm on and then I'll like put on serum around it, put on some moisturizer on top. I don't really know if that's the correct order, but it works for me. We've got a sunscreen. I loved this. The only thing I don't love about it is it pilled up a little bit if you like rubbed it too much. So this is the Bondi Sand Sunny Days SPF 50 moisturizer and it's got like a tint to it. There is still like one, probably. I reckon I could get like one more application out of it. Um, it's got like a little bit of a tint to it. That's the only thing, yeah, I didn't like about it though. If I like rubbed it for too long, like sometimes it would like kind of move and do funny things. But I just use this a lot when I wasn't wearing makeup. Like the tint is barely there. But I like how moisturizing it feels. It gives a nice finish to the skin and it's affordable. So I really like that. Bondi Sands have some really cool products. Like that aren't just their tan. I like their tans too. But they've got so many cool products like for a really good price, which I love. I do you have one other kind of SPF product um, to show you that I've kept? And that's this. I don't know if you can still get this. I hope you can. I love this brand. Hamish loves this brand too. Stupidly, I bought him a moisturizer from Origins. And so now every like friggin' two, three months, I'm having to stock him up with another one. And it's like $80 a pop. And I'm like, fuck. I should have bought him like a really cheap one. But he loves it, so <laughs> it's fine. Everything is okay. It gives me an excuse to get my little Mecca beauty loop thing. <laughs> but yeah, this is the SPF 50 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer. I love this. Once again, I'd use it just when me and Hamish were whipping out to do groceries and running errands and stuff with a baby. Like I don't, I can't be bothered putting on like makeup all the time. But this, I reckon I've probably got like one or two. Ugh, I'm trying to squeeze it out. I reckon if I take off the actual lid, okay, I can't. It's not going to come out. Maybe I've got one use left of that. But it comes out looking like this. It's one of those things that's probably not going to suit everyone. Because um, I don't know how well it adjusts. But for me, if I've got a little bit of fake tan on, it works. If I have zero... Louis in my garden. Louis! He's such a dick. Did the sun just disappear or am I dreaming? If I've got no fake tan whatsoever, I feel like it looks a little bit orange. So it's a little bit iffy in that area. But um, it actually does look so pretty. I've got that much skincare on my hand right now. It just like blends in. See that? But... I really liked it. It's easy. I'd use my fingers. I never use my fingers for things, but it was easy, okay? And it didn't go all gross on my fingers, and it washes off my hands nicely. You know, it's it's just good. Don't even look at me. Ah, no. Yeah, he's trying to eat bird shit. I swear to God, he's naughtier than my toddler. Anyways, yeah, I loved this though. Like when I had like a, like I say a little bit of fake tan on, and I whipped this on. Oh, the finish. The, you know, it's got a bit of SPF in it, so it made me feel comfy. It was just really hydrating too. And then it's something I go through like no tomorrow because I've been putting this product or these products all over my chest, shoulders, neck, face, moisturizer. Okay, I used to just do like my neck and my face 
and that would save me a lot of money because I'd go through the product so much slower. The wind is so loud. All right, but the problem is now I'm like worried about like all the skin aging. So now I put it everywhere, okay? Because I'm like, it's got better skincare in it than just like a body moisturizer. So I'm like, anyways, I went through four. So first we've got one of my holy grails of all time. The other product I love by Sunday Riley. It's the CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Literally, I've got like a scrap in here. You won't even be able to see. Oh, I love the smell. It smells like, like a vitamin C orange, freshly squeezed orange juice or something. <laughs> Insane. I love this. It's like thick, lush, one of those creams you put on and you just feel like immediately plump. I absolutely love it. I'd use it morning and night. It's especially good in the morning, I guess, because it's like, you know, a very, um, zingy kind of smell like wakes you up and like I said it's like very creamy and rich and instantly plumping but it sinks in it doesn't just like sit greasy on your skin or anything like it's beautiful it soaks in it makes you feel oh, like you're just winning at life love it to death will always repurchase it have not repurchased it yet because I've got a lot of moisturizers I'm using at the moment from PR but will always repurchase this I bought this one myself even. I don't think they've sent this to me before. I'll buy it. I don't care. If I love something at the end of the day, I will buy it. You know, if I get in PR or not, like heaps of stuff that I get sent in PR once, I end up going and purchasing with my own money. If I love it, I'll buy it. I don't just expect it free all the time, you know. There's a little bit of this at the bottom. It looks dicey. Another Dermalogica gem. I really liked this. It's a firming and lifting liquid moisturizer. It's a very like lightweight moisturizer. But like, yeah, made my skin feel very like just fresh, very plump. It's just a really nice, like, I'd use this morning and night. I don't know if you're supposed to. Yeah, twice daily. It says daily liquid moisturizer firms, lifts and revitalizes with hydrating, oxygen optimizing, phytoactives, breathing new life into aging skin. Whatever. It felt amazing on my skin. I know this is probably really, really expensive. Would I repurchase it? Probably, but I'd probably still go for this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if like, I don't know, my mum bought this for me for Christmas or something, I'd be stoked. Really enjoyed it. Really loved using this. And I like how it comes with a pump because that's one thing, you know, this is like a nice, thick, luxurious moisturizer. And it's, you know, you have to get your fingers in there. It's not my favorite. I prefer pumps, um, but it's whatever. I make sure my hands are clean when I'm doing my skincare. So it is what it is. I do have to say, I love the pump. The packaging is so cute, right? It's nice quality too. The next one I want to show you is a bit of a fail because I was traveling, right? And I wanted to take my CeraVe moisturizer with me, but you know, it comes in that enormous tub. So I popped it in here because this was an empty. So in here I've got my CeraVe moisturizer that I like on my legs and everything, but that's fine. So I did use this up first, the Wishful Honey Whip Peptide Moisturizer. Now at first I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. But after like a few days of using it, I still liked it, don't get me wrong, but it's just not like a favorite. Like I still had nothing on this. Do you know what I mean? I have no idea on what the like price difference is or anything like that. If I got this in PR or if once again my mum bought it for me for Christmas or something, I'd happily use it. It was still really nice. Left my skin feeling nice and moisturized and everything, but it just didn't give me the same feeling of like super plump, super glowing, all of those super words, you know what I mean? Like it was just like hydrated, all good, good to go. Could pair it up with a really good serum and get really good results, but it was just like whatever, it was nice. And then the final one. Oh, I loved this, but I will not, I don't think I could repurchase it. Silver Sue, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. The Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Cream. I believe this is like a lot of money. Let me check. I got this in PR. Everyone, like my followers was like, oh my God, it was really good. But just for the price point, I don't think I would <laughs> repurchase it for myself. I just don't want to spend that much money on it. All right, I did think it was more expensive then it really is. It is expensive, don't get me wrong, but I thought it was like hundreds and... Mm. Is that the one I've got? Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Cream. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, I think the packaging looks different, but the name's the same. $409. I cannot justify, even if it's amazing, like for me, I'm one of those people where like, even if it's amazing, I still cannot justify that much money. Personally, when there's all these other things in my skincare routine I also want to buy, I'd rather pay for Botox. That's so bad. I'm sorry. This, like for me, this is my max. And it's about, depending on which website you get it off, $120. Much more comfortable spending that on myself. That's still expensive in my opinion, because it's something you're repurchasing every like three months or however long it lasts you. But you know, 400 But let me tell you, the product itself, yeah, it was 
really nice. I've got a scrap in here. What's this, like $10 worth? <laughs> I don't want to sound like I'm shitting on the brand because obviously there's a reason it's expensive and it's beautiful. If you have that budget, then by all means, I would recommend trying it. It goes on, it almost like melts into the skin. It feels like water, but it's got this beautiful scent. Like I can't really describe what the scent smells like though. I'll click on here and read a little bit about it. This one as well, I don't know what the difference is between this and the other one I showed, but they've both got the same name. One of them's double the price. Maybe it's a different size. This is the 60 mil. Okay, yeah, the 60 mil, yeah. <laughs> $409 so it must you can buy it in different sizes 60 mil 30 mil and 10 mil I went through this so quick still you know let's see why it's worth so much how to warm between your hands and breathe in the aromatic ginseng root scent to help relax the senses well yes that must be what the scent is like mm, it's a nice scent it's very earthy herbal like spa expensive <laughs> it doesn't really say anything about like the ingredients and as to why it's so expensive I think it's just one of those things, it just, it just is. And the ginseng in it is meant to be amazing for your skin and you know, it's one of those things like, can you justify that kind of money on it? And if you can, give it a go. But I think most of my audience are probably not in the market to spend that much money. I know I'm not. Beautiful, beautiful product. And I do have some more items from this brand that they kindly sent me. So I'll probably still try them because why not? Um, and we'll see if there's anything that I think, like, actually, you know what, it is worth the money. It'll be interesting to see. And on that note, I think that's it. That's all we've got for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know so I know to do more of these. And let me know down below if you want to join in the fun. What was the last product you used up and would you repurchase it? I love looking at people's comments on these videos to see what to try next. So let me know. Bye-bye.